Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. So today's the day after shearing and it's been scorching hot and guess what? This morning it's cold. <laughs> so the poor sheep are going to find it a lot cooler today. But it's supposed to get scorching hot again so it'll all work out and it's actually really nice working in this temperature for a change. But uh, yeah, it seems like if you shear the sheep, it's going to go cold. And if you don't shear them, they stay boiling hot. So we're just feeding everybody's males. We got a lot to feed this morning. Like I said the other day, we're feeding all wrapped hay now. It would be wrapped first cut hay. And this is how we put them into our feeders. The skid steer is our handy piece of equipment on the farm. We use it more than any other piece of equipment. So he just places it at the end of the feeder. He cuts the strings off and then pushes it out and the whole process takes about five minutes. And one bale feeds a hundred sheep a day? No. There's a yeah, ninety in here. Yeah, these guys may make, make make it last longer. And while he's doing that, I go around and I clean out all the drinkers and make sure that they have salt and mineral. So this barn's done. Um, tonight he'll roll the rest of that bale all the way back just to top them up, but that goes to the end of the feeder. This barn's finished for the morning. Now he's off to load another bale into the breeding uh, barn. And we got some freshly shorn lambs in there, so we'll have a look at them. Just put that bale in there. Okay, here we are in with the freshly shorn dorsets. We got a few Suffolk in here that are sold. And I don't know, I'm thinking maybe it was a mistake leaving all those tufts on their heads because now we're going to go have to catch every single one of them and trim them out nicely. And they do look kind of funny. Hi, Crookie. Hi. How you feeling? Hi. You guys look silly. See how much smaller they look? I don't know if you, if you can tell by the camera how much smaller they look when the wool is off. But you look very pretty. Is she the one we wanted to show? This one. I, th I think it is, but they look so different now. You look so different. You look like little lions. Yes, you look like little lions now. What did they do to you? Hi, how are you feeling? How are we going to fix your heads? See, the reason they want the tufts and on the head and cheeks and um, legs is because they want to see that they're to breed type because dorsets are supposed to have wool in those places and other breeds don't. So if you shear it all off, they look like just about any other breed, any other white sheep breed. So this way it's kind of like proof that uh, not only is she good sheep, but she's a sheep with the proper type for her breed. But it definitely looks funny. 
he did uh, the very first one he did he took it all off so I'll show you her to show you what it looks different and see this is one of the show sheep her wool's starting to grow back but you see how her tuft was left on her head but this one he didn't think about it and he cut all the wool off and you see how she could look like pretty well any um, white sheep breed hi can we see how you guys look different can we see how you guys look different <gasps> and of course she won't sh stop and here's the morning greeting in the ram barn the exuberant group. Hi boys! Hi! Hi Kelvin! Hi Keanu! Hi! Hi! I can see you! Hi! You guys are so pretty! Hello there! Hello! A little more vigorous this morning because of the cooler temperature. So instead of a, a, a lope to the feeder, it's more of a run. And here's the suffix all eating with their wool off. I think we're going out today to Ottawa to see my dad again. But uh, this week we're going to be going through these and making our final decision. Right off the bat here, I'm liking the third one for your show. So I am going to look for bigger ones, and I'm going to look for good legs. Uh, the smaller ones seem to all have good legs, but I'm looking at show sheep, so i got to look a little bigger. The third ones maybe. I like this one's legs, the one that's standing on her own. Both of those two are good. All three actually. This one's got really nice wide legs, but she's shorter. I would like to show the shorter ones, but I think we're going to show the taller ones. See, now my Shetland doesn't look as small because the wool makes a huge, huge difference. I really like this one. It's all right. You don't need to be spooky. Yes. Nice, long, good back, good leg views in here. She's really stylish for a show sheep, this one here. I'm guessing she's going to be one. Oh, this one's nice too. Yeah, it's going to be hard. So today we went to Ottawa to see my dad. And while we were there, we, sad to say, picked up some Christmas ornaments. <laughs> we saved the landfill site then. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna plug them in to see if they work so that they're ready for Christmas. Our little deer family. I always wanted some deer out in the yard. Some fake ones. <laughs> and someone had a deal on them. So they were right beside my parents, well, my dad's place, so uh, we decided to do both. Now Arnie's doing some more wiring to see if they work. Without the ladder. This time no ladder. Saving the landfill site. You forgot that part then. Yeah, we were saving the landfill site. These are used. 
We go on Marketplace. They have fantastic deals. Oh! Yeah, it could be. Ho, 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 Mary. <laughs> One of the lights isn't working, but it doesn't matter. The majority of them are working and they're twinkling. So now we don't have to go searching for this stuff in the snowstorm. starting to feel a lot like Christmas in August. Anyway, thanks for joining, joining us again today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.